Eight months ago, the entire world suffered a paradigm shift, making social interaction face-to-face -face dangerous and stupid. I retreated into my home, as advised by the authorities, and have been here ever since. There was a time when I saw my friends. There was a time when I had meaningful relationships. But that was long ago. Others used to live here. I had roommates, but they left for other shelters. I can't remember why anymore. Maybe they were never even real. Every day I feel them slipping farther away. Jojo? Bloosh? Will I ever see them again? I'd given up all hope of regaining my sanity. When I met... him. It was the first time I had touched anyone in months. Our connection was electric. He taught me how to love again, how to feel something other than emptiness. He told me about his past and helped me to remember mine. And then I ran away. I've never told anyone that before. Don't say that! You do what you had to do to survive. Don't let anyone tell you different. You do? I love you too! Suddenly the songs on the radio made sense. I would catch a grenade for Saki. His imperfections didn't matter. They made him even more wonderful to me. But above all, I loved his mind. He's not a misogynist. He's just calling out the treatment of women in society. Well, I mean, who's the actual woman here? Who am I to argue with a Rhodes Scholar? We turned our little house into a love shack. He was thoughtful. He never forgot our anniversary and was always surprising me with little gifts. Is this for me? Thank you. To us. But with all good things, it had to come to an end. Saki was older than me. Something that was never an issue until all of a sudden it was. He got sick. You have to pull through this. I need you. Don't say that. We're going to figure something out. No, I'll never love anyone again. You're the sock for me. It's you. It's always been you. Despite my constant care, Saki passed away one night in his sleep. I buried him alone in his favorite place. I wished we had more time together, but every second was worth a lifetime. They were out of grape jelly, so I got you strawberry. Hope that's okay. Jo Jojo? I haven't seen you in 30 years. I was at Acme for like 20 minutes. Is that pasta I smell? Um, why is there a sock in the vegetable drawer? Don't touch him!